Shooter, the Giants a bonus at 7-4. Marshall Onis, their star. Harley from Central Michigan. Manning of Kansas, Robinson of Navy. To the Red Auerbach, that sounds like <laughs> an answer you'd get from the Boston Celtic great. 84-1, and one. we're underway. Last time they played was 16 years ago in Munich. The only time the American team has ever lost an Olympic basketball game. Teet Sock, Sabonis up high. Marshall Onis off a pick. Smith on a dish from Manning. 2-1, USA. A springboard on defense. He's quick off his feet. Sabonis a little slow. If you notice, Robinson goes up. Tikanenko not there, but Sabonis follows it in. Seven feet, four inches, nearly. Richmond unable to hit. Sabonis with a rebound. Clears to Marcellunas. Oh, nice pass. Tikanenko connects a two-pointer, and the USSR leads seven to four. Sock to Marcellunas, his first shot. Beauty. Marcellunas, a three-pointer, and it's a 10-4 lead for the Soviets. This is Reed from North Carolina. That's the basket count. The foul is on Volkov. On a face you with the wide three second lane. Watch him turn around and face. There's a contact. Whistle. The shorter team and Marley. Marley with a drive. Oh my! It's 10 to 8. Turnover. Grayer. Robinson and down they go again. Robinson and Sabonis. And it'll be on Sabonis of the USSR. David Robinson at inside position. Another angle. Sabonis comes over there. Puts his seven foot four. So he had to come in the back door. Uh, high off the glass. And then the steal and Robinson over the shoulder. Sabonis. And Robinson at the line. Curtinitis. He can shoot. I told you, folks, he can shoot. Hughes has a pick. And Marcellunas back in, and he hits a three-pointer, and it's 16 to 9. And a jump hook. Gets it back. And scores. 16-11. David out of pack. There they are. Curtinitis. Three-pointer, and that is his shot. Kurt Curtinite. Robinson does jump in as a bonus who seemed to have position, but the foul goes against the Soviet and Robinson. Now four, four, five from the free throw. Here's another angle of it. This justifies standing. Oh, beautiful pass to Sabonis. Assist to Marcellonis. Soviets get it back. Marcellonis for three. 34-29. 11 for Marcellonis. He now is the left-hand corner of the screen. You see Stacy Arkin's elbow. Good advantage once again. And Curtinitis, a three-pointer. Coach John Thompson went to a 1-3-1 zone. You can't do it against the three outside shooters. He made a good move. Is this yet yet? <laughs> right here. <laughs> 40 left in the half to Marley. Drives. Marley. And the Chippewa from Central Michigan has seven. Out it comes, and the Soviets getting too many second chances and third chances. And Volkov converts. It's 39-31. In fact, the Soviets moving the ball very well. And what a shot by Sabonis using that big body. Alone Sabonis. Oh, a fine play, but Sabonis able to get it back and tip it in. And that's the biggest lead for the USSR in the game. A 10-point advantage as go up tight. They wait for the elimination end of the quarterfinals. Oh, excellent, excellent timing. Robinson nailing. A scramble here, and Robinson rattling at home. That was... Amicius. And the Soviets at the buzzer. Lead by 10. Oh, my. Dick, you'll see full court pressure the second half that you've never watched in a basketball game. John Thompson is mad. And here's the John Wooden of Europe. He won seven European championships. Alex Domelski, his team in front by 10. And everything seems to be going the way of the Soviets, except for fouls on two key players. The captain, Omicha, is showing good, cool, and pressure. So, 20 minutes to go. The semifinal game 
10-point lead. So off is a young center at 6'11". And Reed puts a move Ooh. on him and scores. J.R. Reed cuts the lead to eight. Coach All the way, Smith. He has that float down. Doesn't look like the ball's going to go in, but... Here's the timeout moments ago after the Soviets had built a 14-point lead at 51-37. John Thompson saying, hey, let's stop the baloney. We're at the point of no return. Three. USA hard man to man trying to turn the ball over. J.R. got a piece of it. Here he goes to dunk land. J.R. Reid, who has not been that outstanding in the Olympics. He's had some bad games. He's really put it on the burner. Oh, that picture, that's the big story 16 years ago. This is the guy that can hit every time out there, automatic. Curtinitis with a three-pointer, and he hit Curtinitis. Two on one. All alone is Sock. And he does just that for another two-pointer. It's 57-50. And it's an nba size statistic. Smith, a three-pointer. Medal game two days from now. Drive by Volkov. Use that free arm to clear the way. He drives left to right. The other end is Blair for the U.S. Make that Coles. Vernell Cole. thought he was pushed. Coles. Anderson cuts the lead to two. And there's a rare fast break basket for the U.S. Sabonis so left alone now. Sets up Volkov. And he is fouled by Robinson. One of the biggest assets of Sabonis is his passing ability. Other than a Canadian game beating everyone by 30 or more. The key was, Dick, I watched him in Rotterdam. The key was when he... Marley, a little fake by the Soviet player. He drives for the score. 69-62. Five minutes to go. And Marcelonis jumps at the other end. He's a player. In my opinion, Marshall Owens is the only person that can start for an NBA team. He's going to go all the way. Vernell Cole, 71-64, seven-point lead for the... Robinson. Score. David Robinson has 17 now. I think we've credited him with two too many. Coles, tough defense. Sabonis rips down another. It's a two-on-one break. Marcelonis, and that could do it for the Soviets. Got to call their last time out. Regroup, put five water bugs in there. Get me to go, and the Soviets sitting on a big nine-point lead. Marley from three-point range. That was an NBA three-pointer. Set the U.S. Here comes Volkov. No foul as he runs over Coles. A basket good, and with 2.13 left, a timeout is called by John Thompson. Oh, my. It appears the Soviets are going to do it again. Here in 88 as Marley can't hit the three-pointer. Robinson jams the rebound, and it's 77-71 with two minutes to go. This is going to go right down to the wire. Marley gets his own rebound, makes it a three-point play. 77-74, 118 to go. And that takes the pressure off. Ten-second okay. clock, it's down to five seconds. Curtinitis left alone. Scores! Big basket for the Soviets. They're back on top. Danny Manning. Marley, fall away, rattles it in and out. And a foul by the U.S. with 52 seconds to go. And Anderson, number 10, flicks it away and then saves it. What a play by Anderson of Georgia. I was right. Ogman touched the ball first, and Anderson saved it. Man, who probably a second best. Watch little Charles Smith. He won three games last year for Georgetown against Syracuse. And look at that. Pittsburgh and LSU. There's the difference in NCAA. And with it, the dream of the... Oh, what a steal! Anderson. And Ogman! Ogman scores. No, Willie Anderson is right. Anderson scores. 79-76. And a foul on Charles Smith with 15 seconds to go. Good foul. Need a steal and a three-point shot. Wide open. Kamichis. Oh, and he gets it back. Oh. And the Soviets get it again, Volkov. And finally a foul. So the U.S. had a chance, a couple of missed shots, but because of the shorter, quicker defensive team in, the taller Soviets able to get their own rebound.
up in this game. Give credit to their coach, Gomalski. The world has certainly caught up with the United States in this game. No longer does the U.S. dominate as they did for so much of these Olympic games. Whistle with uh, just under two seconds to go. But there is no time really for even a miracle now. And the Soviets are already celebrating. Hot Creek Hotel on one side, and the other side is happiness, joy. We've done it. That was rolled an intentional foul, so the Soviets get the ball back. And here's the frosting for the USSR. They win it. 82-76. The Soviets will go to the gold medal game against either Australia or Yugoslavia. The United States goes home stunned with a semi-final loss to the bigger, more experienced, and perhaps more clever USSR.